you know, in part six out of 11 for our relations and functions, something we should be hitting right around midterms, maybe a little bit after. Actually, well, I guess it would be quarter terms if we had them. Uh, it should be about halfway through the second ter term. We're going to be dealing with systems of linear quadratic and quadratic quadratic equations. So in Math 10c, we dealt with linear systems, where we'd have two straight lines, and the solution was where they intersected. We're going to apply that same concept, where the solution to a system of equations is where the two functions intersect, but these intersections will happen more than once. We could have a linear graph that intersects a curve, or we could have two quadratics that are intersecting. So these are the kinds of functions that we're going to have to deal with, and we're going to have to find these intersections. Now, thankfully, most of these intersections are actually rather easy to work out. If you have, say, x squared minus 3x plus 2, and you want to know where it intersects with x squared minus 7x plus 12, well, we just equate the two. Because if they intersect, both x values are the same and both y values are the same. So if we make the y's equal to each other and figure out which x values will satisfy that equation, well, we can cancel out our x's here, because the x squareds cancel, as we move our 7x to the other side of the equation becomes a positive 7x, leaving us with a 4x here. We subtract 2 from both sides to leave us with a 10x. Our x-coordinate is 5 over 2. And we can then substitute this in to either side of the equation to get our y. Now, notice that the x's cancel if the a values are the same. So if we have the same leaning coefficient, these are going to intersect exactly once. That's because they will be just as wide and opening in the same direction. So effectively, all we've done is taken this one quadratic and shift it sideways or up and down. So once we cross paths, they'll never keep up because they're going to be coming out pretty much in parallel if they have the same y value. It's only when the a's are different that we may still have a quadratic to deal with. If we had 2x squared on this side and x squared on that side, we'd still end up with an x squared on the left, and then we'd have two points of intersection. Although with this one, the 2x squared and the x squared, what we'd have would be a wider parabola and a narrower parabola both opening up. But this is the basic concept for topic six, which would be about three quarters of the way through the course if we do the relations and functions unit last, as I'm currently inclined to do.